like y'all to meet our new exotic car tech, Stephen? <laughs> Bring them in. Yep. If All it's mid-engine, Stephen will work on it. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel today. Uh, we are working on the truck again. Uh, today is gonna be uh, assembling the brakes, kind of getting the front spindles uh, fitted for the new brake brackets that come from Little Shop. And uh, we should have the rear diff uh, later on today from Nichols Transmissions up the street. Uh, Gator, I worked with him and he does a lot of our transmission stuff for years and uh, we still do business with them even though we have our own separate businesses now but it's just kind of a courtesy we do performance for him he does uh, transmission stuff for us so we also got some exciting things uh, for merchandise uh, streetcar takeover merchandise we just got our brand new 90 style shirts in I'm excited about these because uh, it's been one of my favorite designs we've ever done and uh, they are available for purchase we have them in stock hoodies white shirts black shirts I want you to check them out. So here they are. We have our 90 style hoodies right here. These are uh, just a normal Gildan hoodie like a lot of your other companies use, 1320 video and all that, same hoodie. That's the back design, if you can kind of see it. It's a really cool design. Uh, it's kind of our 90s design. Then we have the same design on a t-shirt. We use next level apparel shirts. These are, uh, got some polyester in them they're not 100 percent cotton really nice shirt to wear in the summer so we got those all the way from small through 3x in hoodies and shirts same with the white shirts uh here's one of the white ones i'm excited to have white we had a lot of re we request for a uh, non-black shirt so the white was a good one for this design these are also next level apparel it's a large there. That's the front of the shirt. These are awesome, but uh, we have these uh, on our site. I'll put the link in the, the bio. Uh, that way you guys can order your shirts. We have them in stock. Pat will get them shipped out same day. Uh, we did have a huge pre-order for these, but we bought a lot of extras so that way we can sell them. Curtis, what do you think of our new 90 shirt? I like them. I bought one for every one of my family. Did you? Appreciate the business. Uh, we still have our erase it, break it, fix it, repeat shirts. We have our streetcar takeover flag shirts, then we have the racing's essential shirts. You can look at all these on our website. They're all in stock. Everything on our website is now in stock. We have the snapback Richardson hats, gray with like a teal, like the truck riding on them, snapbacks. We also have killer performance shirts all the way through 3X. We have two hats left in stock. So if you get a hat on there, get them while they last. And then we just got the black streetcar takeover hats which is one of my favorites we've ever done black with the really cool blue silver outline stitching it's a richardson snapback as well we got plenty of those in stock so make sure you get on there order you some merch curtis get out of that box i need it those are sold units i need an xl for wally oh, okay we got some guy. we got some extras we got some extras <laughs> Steven, is it that time? Is it break time? It's break time, but not literally. <laughs> Look at that rotor. Jeez. Ah, Hold that sucker ah, up just so you can see how big that thing is. Oh, that is massive. And Steven's <laughs> a good size man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at them arms. 16 inch <laughs> Will yeah, Woods. The front. I wanted to see the front. Yeah, these are the, the hats for the, the rear rotors, rotors here. Yeah. So we'll have to bolt all these together. They're these, two piece. And these are 14s. 14s for the back, still a big rotor. Yeah. That's a big, big boy right there. That's a lot of stopping power. Yeah. We will not have any problem <laughs> stopping Teal the Deal over there. Yeah. Little Shop is where we got this kit from. Uh, basically, it comes with all the stuff you need. It even has the e brake shoes for the back, all the lines, the brackets, everything. New wheel bearings, pads. Yeah, we showed you this stuff in the last video. There's the front hubs there. I mean, this is a nice kit. It's it's not cheap. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is an expensive kit, but nothing but the best for the for the truck over here. I mean, we've we've already uh, shown you all what we're doing, so that way you know this is a top notch build that we're doing here at Killer Performance. And uh, I actually found the guys, uh, the little shop 
uh, where we got the brakes from, from watching that uh, Gas Monkey video when they build the OBS truck. So that's how I found out about the little shop. I started looking on their website, I'm like, man, they got some really cool stuff. So went ahead and bought the 16s for the front and 14 inch brakes for the rear. They have a bunch of different options though. So if your budget is a lot tighter, um, they do offer options for like right around a thousand bucks for a nice disc brake conversion that comes with all this stuff for your truck. So get on there, check them out, support them. They seem like a really awesome small company. Uh, I emailed them, told them what I needed. They were quick to help me and, uh, you know, obviously had things to me within a week or two. I didn't know them. They didn't know me, but it was a very, very good, um, purchasing experience with little shops so highly recommend them guys if you need some brakes for your obs truck got to bolt the brakes together we're gonna put a little bit of blue loctite on there it does say we need someone experienced doing this so i don't know if steven's gonna get the cut we're gonna have to get curtis over here to come do this curtis has a brake certification yeah hold on let me pull up we did pull the six piston <laughs> calipers out of the package yeah, those things are massive. Just put it in perspective, that's a 16 inch rotor. That's my hand in there. So, yeah, big boys. It is cool. I love how these are all black. So that way, when the brake pads wear in, it'll, you know, you'll have the black accents on there and it won't be like all rusty and stuff real quick. I think they even have the little shop engraved on the front somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's like a billet hat. Oh, yeah, it is billet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing they cost the they cost they cost billet money, so <laughs> I would hope they are billets. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to anodize them and stuff. It looks really nice. Alright, got the first rotor kind of completed here. You can see there. This is the rear rotor, so it's got a pretty big hat on there. That's what it looks like all done up. And then uh, we just gotta do the front rotors now. See there where we put the bolts all the way around Bam. looks good yeah. use blue loctite <laughs> spindles all cut steven's doing that right now uh the little shop brakes you do have to cut the factory spindles uh to fit their new brake brackets for the big willwood calipers so yeah it's gonna look good all black looks nice hey steven the time burglar's here oh no the snap-on guy you guys are done for the day I owe money. Should here? I run? Yeah. Here, you can go right out that door right there. I'll say you're off. Damn, Steven, you better not hurt my freshly powder-coated spindle here. We might have to... Oh! All right. Got all the drinks. Think that'll do? Yeah. once we cut that off there it gives us a nice clean spot to cut straight down that's got to basically be cut straight right there for the bracket to be able to bolt on you did good steven not really messed up the coating or nothing you got to watch the 454 back over here she's a pristine machine Yes, there he is. They're doing transactions. Transactions. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tim, what are you buying over here? Oh no! Um, he's uh, showing us the new LT crank bolt breaker, breaky breaker bar. <laughs> oh, let's see it. Gosh, dang, that's like a Camaros. that's like a pimp cane for tool. It ought to get her done. That's nice. Know, you need Jeremy. to buy this. How much is this? About two grand. One forty. Oh, I was way off. Man, that seems cheap. Holy cow! Of course, it doesn't say snap on on. There. Yeah, that so might be. So that's that's probably why. How much was it? How much would it be if it's a snap on? Well, three quarter burger bar is about six hundred bucks. Oh, well, that ain't bad. That ain't bad.
Most importantly, we saved about five ounces of weight. New uh, rear diff all assembled, ready to go on the frame with all the new suspension over here. Uh, we'll tackle that tomorrow. This is gonna be the end of uh, day six. So uh, we're gonna start day seven tomorrow with uh, getting the brakes all finished up, spindles mounted, and have this thing almost rolling, I think. Getting the e-brake shoes on right now. This is another part of the little shop brake conversion for these OBS trucks. This is so we can run a factory style brake, e-brake shoes, and the brand new uh, Willwood brake kit. As you can see, we got the axle out right now. Steve had to uh, fit the axles with the new studs that we got. And we had to drill out the brake rotors down there for the, for the parking shoe. Yep. So the parking shoe goes inside that hat there. That is also a little shop made part uh, that bolts into the Willwood rotor. So we're gonna get this other side done right here and then uh, we'll basically start assembling. We got the brand new line kit from LMC Truck. It's a factory replacement line kit, but might as well have done new stainless steel lines while we're here. And then uh, we got the rear diff cover right there that's got the torque arm mounts for the new QA1 suspension. We got the rear caliper bracket on this side. It basically bolts right up to the e-brake shoe bracket that's on there. And uh, as you can see, the caliper will slide on now. That's what these studs are sticking out for right now. Not a you know, a normal style caliper goes bolts so it goes through the back. These actually have the studs that come out. Got the other side on now, and uh, Steven is going to put the axles in. We got the studs on. This is actually a stud that uh, I used on the front of the ZL1, so it ended up being about the same size, and they're long enough to where we won't have any stud issues with the welds on there. Slipping them in, and then he's gonna lock them in right through here. You'll see the axle start to come through. This is that brand new Eaton diff that we put in here. This is a 10 bolt, eight and a half inch rear end, but when these things are built up, they actually uh, hold up pretty well to power. Close. Oh yeah. Now we got the rear disc brakes mounted on the, the 10 bolt for the first time in its life. Look pretty good. Oh yeah. So we got everything on. We're actually missing a uh, bracket from Little Shop on these e-brakes, so I can't quite get the axles. We can't get this all bolted together because we're missing that part because I can't get to this part unless the shoes are off and the axles are out of the way. So we're kind of stuck on the rear end. It seems like this is kind of a kind of repeating thing. We're just missing little parts that are preventing us from getting a lot of this stuff done on this truck. So. They're, they're awesome, they, uh, they got us what we need on the way. I don't know when we'll have it, but it's shipped, so we'll have it hopefully sometime soon. We can get this thing wrapped up back here. So we have one of our front spindles done here. As you can see, it's got a normal, normal hub on it now that we can slide the brake rotor on and off, which that is a, a little shop piece that comes with their brake kit. And we also have the trimmed ears for the billet bracket to go on for the Willwood brake caliper. You can see here, Steven's uh, packing the grease in the bearings and getting ready to uh, slip the, getting ready to slip the new bearing on there. It's a messy job. Yeah. There she is. We'll get that on there and get this done. We're still waiting on our uh, motor mounts for elevated concepts. I thought they would show up today, but we still haven't seen them. Uh, but we can't really put all this together because we'll have to move that shock out of the way in order to get to the motor mount nuts on the back side where the bolts go through. So we got to kind of wait for those motor mounts to show up before we can really assemble this front end over here. Uh, and then on the rear stuff, we're waiting on some parts from Little Shop on the e-brake uh, kit that was on there. So we can't really put the rear end completely together. But we can probably get it set down in there and start bolting it all up. But uh, They just sent me the tracking for it. Oh, nice. Okay. When will we have it? 
I didn't look at it yet. They didn't say. So that's. Said, I got the tracking and they sent the levers and there's a little piece that goes on the end of the cable. Oh, you have nice. To cut the cable in short and it has like a new stopper. Okay. Onto the bracket so it can use the e-brake. So we got those coming too. Nice. Slowly but surely pretty, we're pretty getting cool there. Pretty cool bracket. So to adapt the two from a drum to a disc brake, they put this little bracket right here, which if you don't have the parking brake, you can put it on the top. We figured out that you put it on the bottom, goes here, you bend your hard line into that, and then your flex hose will run under and then into right the into back the of the caliper. caliper. That's cool. It's pretty nice. Yeah. All stay everything's stainless now. Yeah. Front to back. Nice. Little shop brackets that bolt to the factory spindle that we had to cut the ears off earlier in the video. Uh, Steve got them all repainted back up. They look nice. There's bolting the other one on right now. And then basically these spindles are ready to go on the truck and ready for the brand new uh, big 16 inch front Willwood brakes. We've got sitting the rotor sitting right here. The caliper's massive. Got a big old six piston Willwood caliper to go on those fronts there. We just got the brakes on the truck and uh, we bolted them on. Check these things out. These things look incredible bolted on. There they are right there. The big, massive 16 inch Willwoods. And the next thing I want to check is if the, the welds fit because we had the welds built. We sent them the specs from these calipers. These are big, big rotors here. So uh, we'll go grab one of the welds real quick and see if it fits on here. All right, got the wheels on and they do fit. The caliper isn't totally bolted down. Yeah, yeah, we don't have everything totally does. bolted down, but yeah, everything clears just fine. We could probably actually went with a smaller pad on the on the wheels just to be safe. That gave the wheel a little bit more dish, but these will work perfect for what we're doing. Look how big those brakes are in there, though. Jeez Louise. Phillips, that's a 20 inch wheel and yeah. it fills the whole wheel up. <laughs> a little comparison. Yeah, that's crazy. Wheels fit, we're all good. Um, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is the end of day seven of the OBS build. And as you can see, we've got a lot done on this truck in just seven short days. Uh, tomorrow's gonna start day eight. I would like to almost have the chassis rolling tomorrow. We're still waiting on a couple just little parts that are hanging us up. So hopefully crossing our fingers, that stuff shows up tomorrow and we can keep rolling on the truck. Um, but as always, you know the deal. We'll see you later.